please take a moment to increase the brightness on your device for optimal viewing. Hey guys, welcome back to the Sketchy Friendler, where every day I tell you a story and draw you a picture to go along with it. Today I'm going to tell you about the time that I played a two-story Tetris. That's right. But first, um, if you're wondering why I'm drawing in the blue, I always start off with the blue before I get into the actual graphite drawings. So bear with me. Um, if this is uh, too light for you, just uh, crank up the brightness all the way up on your viewing device. And then last, uh, if you're watching on your cell phone, or it's too small, then just be sure to turn your phone sideways and the image will fill up the screen. All right, let's get to it. So, yes, I did play a two-story version of Tetris once. And you might be asking, where, Aaron, uh, <laughs> where on earth would you play a two-story version of Tetris? And I'll tell you. So, um, as some of you may know, uh, Burning Man is an event that is held out in the Nevada desert every year. And a lot of wacky stuff goes on there. And a lot of my friends go there every year. I, however, do not. But on one occasion, uh, my friends did convince me to go. And I begrudgingly went. I just said, ah, well, got nothing else I'm doing. You know, I get to hang out with friends, so that's cool. And so I went with my buddy, buddies Will and Dwayne, and we uh, proceeded to head out into the desert, and it was cool. I mean, it's a lot of, like, just wacky things and people, and just, it's hard to describe all the stuff that I saw. It was very surreal. Um, <laughs> yes, I was completely sober. Uh, I had a fun time. I, I have a few stories about it, but this was just kind of the first one that I thought about. And since it's Burning Man's going on right now, I thought it would be a good time to to talk about it. Um, but uh, yeah, so we went out. It's like way out in the middle of nowhere, like in the middle of the desert, really. It's like on these, it's located in the, these salt flats of this dry river or lake bed. And um, super hot, super hot and during the day and it gets really windy at nighttime. And uh, there's all sorts of like really cool like art installations and just neat little like projects that people create and people make like restaurants, temporary kind of pop-up restaurants and just, it's just crazy. I, the best way I could describe the aesthetic of the event, it's, it's almost as though if you've ever seen any of those Mad Max movies, Kind of like that mixed with with Tron, because at nighttime there's all these like vehicles that come out that have all these like glowing lights, and it's just like it's, it's magical. <laughs> um, so anyway, if you want to look it up, it's look up Burning Man on on uh, Google, but it's you know it's not for everyone. And in fact, I went to it once, and I said, you know what? I can cross this off my list. You know, there's a lot of people that go to it and they just completely fall in love with it. And um, they go year after year and it's like their big thing that they do every year. And I think that's cool. It's important that you have kind of traditions, you know, some type of culture. Um, but for me, it was just a little bit too much, but I always cherish the 
the memory of going and all the things that, that I experienced while I was there. Um, and one of those experiences was, uh, as I was saying, at nighttime, it uh, becomes like this magical kind of glowing, like imagine being in the desert at nighttime. It's like just pitch black. And then imagine if you're wandering out in the middle of the desert and then like in the distance, you could see like glowing lights and then you, you approach, there's just these vehicles that are glowing and buildings that are glowing and just people in crazy outfits and, um, and then like giant Tetris, <laughs> I had to play it. I saw it there and, um, I got in line and this is, again, this is like many years ago. This is like maybe I'm going to say 2010, 2010. But, uh, So, yeah, I, I, me and my buddy are walking along, and we see this giant Tetris, and so I got, get in line. I have to play it because, I mean, Tetris is so fun, but, I mean, the chance to play a two-story version of Tetris, I mean, come on. <laughs> That's not a bucket item list for, for a geek. I don't know what is. Anyway, so get in line. And it's not only just a uh, single-player game. I'm playing head-to-head -head with somebody else. And um, it, was fun. it was intense. I mean, it's just like everybody see watching you play because it's so big and the crowd is gathering, right? And I played the heck out of that game, man. <laughs> and I won. I beat the other the other player. I outlasted them. I survived. It was pretty cool. If you can ever play a two-story Tetris, I highly suggest. Highly recommend. It's good stuff. But um, yeah, it was definitely like once the whole the whole week of being there it was like you know something I'll always remember and be happy that I went. And again, you know, I it's not like I ever need to go again. I mean, I I suppose I wouldn't mind. I just. The logistics and everything is kind of a, a, too much for me. Like, I don't know. It was just having to get all this stuff. And the, I mean, it was really quite expensive. I mean, you think going out in the desert wouldn't be that expensive, but in this case, pretty expensive. Um, but. I had fun and I would do, I would do it again. It just, it would take a lot. <laughs> I'm not like saying I will never go again and opposed to it. And also like, I don't want to be like, cause I know people really take it seriously and it's really important to them. And I don't want to just kind of be like a person who just goes to gawk at everything. Like I respect, you know, that they have this thing and I, I you know, I want to take it seriously if I go. So I'm not just going to go on a whim. I'm just, I'm going to do it because something that I really want to do. But at this stage of my life, it's not something that's high on the uh, priority list. But, you know, my love goes out to anybody that does do do that or has been and enjoys it or enjoyed it so 
it, man. It was fun. It was really fun. I'll probably tell you something. Maybe I'll even talk to give you another story this week since Burning Man is going on. I've got to think about that, though. Or maybe I space it out to later. I don't know. If I, if, I, if I do it, I'll do it. If I don't, I'll see it some other time. But if you ever get the chance to go and you're something that interests you, if you're curious and just going to need the nudge, do it. Why not? Why not? I say. All right. It's today, thirtieth. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, again, I am. Uh, I do this. Monday through Friday. If you're already a fan and you seem to have stopped getting notifications, uh, I would please implore you to actually go to my Facebook or YouTube pages, like and comment. If you're already subscribing or already a follower, please just like and comment on everything you see and actually go to the page. That way it tells um, the powers that be that you're still interested and you'll continue to get notifications. Otherwise, um, I'm on Instagram where I post uh, the final images that I do of the previous day. And then TikTok, I started a new thing over there where I'm doing completely different drawings. Um, they're, they're sped up, so they're very quick. And I take it all the way up through the inking process, throw a little music down behind that, and do a little quick little thought about, the, about what I'm drawing. Um, just check it out. Um, and I think that should do it. Um, again, I appreciate all you guys for coming around and listening to me yammer away. And um, hopefully uh, you had a good time. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.